Hi everyone, welcome back to our community. It's great to see you again here. I've been uh, reading a lot of the comments, very supportive in the comments section, and I've also been replying to a few. Hopefully I'll have time to uh, reply to a few more throughout the week. Anyway, today I'm going to be modernizing a G3 character that is included in the software. Let's just bring him out here real quickly. He is a G3 character, and I'll also be doing color matching with him to make sure the sprite is perfect. And out he comes real fast here. I need to scale him very fast to get my color sample. And there he is. Now I'm just going to export him onto my desktop. Make sure you click current frame, otherwise you'll end up with 2,000 other frames of him and it will freeze up your computer and it's just one big mess to clean up. Anyway, looks good. And we need to give it a name. We'll just call it color sample. And we're ready. And you can see a picture of him here. We have his exact skin color. And we'll just close this here and just jump over to our desktop. Grab our color sample, control C, jump into Illustrator, control V. Now that we've done that, we can make him a little smaller now. First thing I want to do is I want to open my rulers and just drag it out. We want a halfway point here. Then I'm going to use my pen tool. And we're just going to quickly make a head. So we'll make it like this and like that. And then I'll just make it a long jaw and just across like this. And there's his head here. Now I want to make sure I have a black line here to make sure that it's perfect when I put it across. I'm going to reflect it. Hit O on my keyboard. Hold down Alt and click and it just copies it and there we go we have his head now I don't need this midway point anymore control J J to make sure that everything's connected now you can make it as thick as you want or thin as you want now I think that's about perfect now I need to change the color grab my eyedropper tool and click onto this and it looks awesome ready to go now I don't need his color sample I can just go over here go to file export and just call it head one and this is my first one for 2024 so I'm also going to put the years so that way it's easier to find it and it's on our desktop I don't need this anymore I can just close it, go onto my desktop, it'll open it up in Photoshop. I want to paint this a little bit. There we go, it looks really good. Now I want to make it a little bit 3D here. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller here. Hold down Alt and click to get a color sample. There's our color sample. Now I want to make it a little darker. I want to make sure the flow is about maybe 30% and the opacity maybe 80 or 70%. I'll go with 70 just to try it. Click here. Quick selection tool over here. Use the magic wand. That way we don't go on the outside. Press B on my keyboard and let's just brush him up a little bit there. Make him a little bit more human-like instead of a flat character. And it's just going about going about the edges. Now this brush is a little too big, so we'll just make it a little smaller. So we go around the head up here, and it looks a little bit better. Now I just want to go down here a little bit more. Don't really do, need to do too much on the head here, but we'll just go around just for the fun of it. And there's our head, and Control s to save it. Now I'm going to see how big this sprite is. I'm going to go to Image. And I might need to downsize it a little bit here. It's okay, it's 500. It looks okay then. Just click OK. Control S on my keyboard to save it. And then we can close it and jump back over here. Now I want to add this onto this character. Let's see what it looks like. 
go into the character composer just close this click on his head go into the sprite editor and just quickly add our sprite I'm gonna replace this sprite here go to our desktop and let's bring in our new sprite let's see what it looks like and there you go total different appearance there it looks a lot better and maybe we'll just scale a little bit all depends what you're looking for you can also do this with hair hands and everything looks really good I'm just gonna move this around just a little bit here depends how much I want and you can see we have a totally different character anyway that's a, just a quick show how fast it is to change a sprite You'll notice I use three different software. I use Cartoon Animator, I also use Photoshop, and I used Illustrator. Now let's just go back to the main stage here. And it looks really good, maybe a little bit of an adjustment, but anyway, I wanna save this. I'm gonna go over to Custom and Head and just click the plus button, just click on him and then the plus. And just call this head. I think I can call it head five now. Now I'll just show you a few of the other heads I've finished here. Let me see. There's this one here. So there was that one. And now there's this one. And you can see it's just a totally different character. Anyway, I'm going to do a few more. I am thinking about giving a few of these away. It'll be information about how to get them will be on here soon. Anyway, let's move along here. Hopefully all you have a good day and remember how to make a simple sprite for a character. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.